It all started a few months back. You know, father of three, married for six years. I just started noticing, I'm like, hey, I'm acting like my dad. Not that there's anything wrong with that. My dad's a fantastic guy. Love the way he does things. Entertaining as hell. But I'm not 60. I can't, I can't be acting like that right now. I'm 34. CBS, let's go. Mark, what are you doing? The game's on. What, what game? It, it is four o'clock on a Tuesday. What? There are no professional sports on right now. What do you mean by what game? Patriot League, women's softball, semifinals. Turn it on. So I'm sitting there and I'm starting to notice it's not only me, it's my own family, my siblings, even my kids. Grandpa says funny things. Grandma, you funny things. Who cares? How was school? Uh, school is exhausting. I'm going <laughs> Wait, hold on, me? You think I sound like my dad? I don't know, I mean, I know we share the same name and everything, but as the youngest, I like to think I'd have some time before I turn into my father. Hey, Simo, what's your afternoon look like? I'm gonna get a haircut. Oh, geez. Chris, you better mark off an hour for that one. Here we go. Gotta get over to Betty's. Here we go. Gotta go be gabbing with the old ladies. <laughs> Are they going to hook you up with curlers? It's a gentleman's salon. Uh, Richie's is a gentleman's salon. I just got this fresh cut there today, baby. Marshawn's dad was there two weeks ago. How does that make that any better of a haircut? Go back to your old ladies. Go back and get your curlers, your magazines, your gabbing. Have fun. Have fun at Betty's. I'll be over at Richie's talking about the Bruins. What's going on, Mark? How's the day? Uh, I'm tired, man. I'm tired. What's more, what, what happened? Let me tell you. I got up. I've been up since five. I probably woke up, tossing, turning, can't go back to sleep. Finally got out of the sack around 6.15, had my first coffee. Let me tell you how many trips I've got. What is, it? what is it, noon? Let me tell you how many trips I got under my belt. Went from my house in Somerville, over to the Y around 6.30, got on the machine over there, back to Somerville, pick up Natalie, head up to Gloucester, help Fabio move some boxes around, grab Natalie, back to Somerville so she can change, bring her to Kevin's, back to Somerville. Meanwhile, I got my BDR, can't get out of his own way. I'm trying to close some goddamn business here. Yikes. You know, as the only girl of the family, 
I genuinely never thought I would have this problem. But here I am one day and Kevin says to me, wow, I feel like I'm dating your father. Hey, anybody throwing out a feed bag around here? We ate two hours ago. Oh, yeah, that's right. Senior citizen special. Uh, what about some polys? Possible. Possible. Well, yeah. I buy you flat. All right, I'll pick it up. You want me to call? Or I'll call. Yeah, call Bob. What do you want? Get me the um, California the chick the grilled chicken one with the um, chipotle sauce. With the, yeah, there's like a chipotle aioli it, something. It's chipotle. I've told you this That's what I times. said. That's what I said. No, chipotle. Chipotle sauce. The grilled chicken. I'll get you to California. All right. Okay, everybody. The word of the day is chipotle. Chipotle, no, I say it. Chipotle. Chipotle, muy bien. Lucas. Chipotle. Very good. Jeanette. Chipotle. 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 That's too I, bad. I don't understand. I, 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 yeah. Chipotle. Ch. Ch. Pot. Pot. Le. Le. Mommy. Chipotle. 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 Is this going to be another Noah thing? Chipotle. You were the one who told me Chipotle. 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 Lucas. Chipotle. Got it. Ah. Hey, would you take it easy on my furniture? Babe, you need some water? No. Take an ultra though. When I first met Mark, I couldn't even understand him. I used to have a signal, you know? I would like look at Ryan, give him the signal, and he would have to translate for me. And now, I'm speaking like him. Sheesh. Sheesh! Why wouldn't you? Pretty good. It's just not hot now. I don't want to waste this now. I need a piping. Oh. Piping hot. You know, it was actually Dave Tarby when we were kids who first pointed out to me um, some of dad's quirks and he would say, you know, your father has like this wicked weird way of talking. <clears throat> and I think I used to roll my eyes at a lot of uh, some of dad's quirks, but now that I've been violently shoved into adulthood during these past few months, I definitely understand more his intolerance for certain annoyances and how that, uh, how that impatience might generate some of dad's uh, funnier ways of talking. And I think I find myself even uh, starting to act more and more like him. Oh, geez. I wanna see pictures of your little people, not pictures of this mongrel unfollow. Oh, this one, this one is out of control with the postings, unfollow.
Helped yourself to my nice bottle of wine, I see. Oh yeah, the neighbor? Oh yeah, she came by. She was all pie-eyed. Took a spill in the bushes on her way home. Yay, kid. Babe, who's coming over tonight? Okay. Mm-hmm. Uh, you got Jumbo and Instafons, uh, Wenny and K-Town, Cougar 61 and B-Car, maybe the guy and his new lady friends. You know, the usuals. Sorry, who? Do I even know these people? No. See, these are my best friends. You don't know want to use nicknames. Hey, Mark. Any sign of life over there? Question mark. <laughs> hey, does that like, can I have any for ice cream? Oh, you don't have any coin? I'm sorry, now that I've got a mortgage, it's cutbacks. All right. Sheesh, anybody gonna get me a drink? Can hey, uh, that reminds me. Heading down to South Beach tomorrow. Any, uh, any chance of Riverview? Oh, I love this number. Turn the, crank this number up. This was uh, 2015. I used to listen to this with my buddy, Mike Walsh, on our way to uh, play nine holes at Woburn Country Club. Hi, are you eating my vehicle? You're gonna drive, you gotta eat. Hey, no, you actually, you you should take that exit. It's a lot faster. Let's, oh, the GPS says to go that way? No, 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 but you, you don't want to go that way. You just get off here. Get up, it's coming up. up here. <laughs> Gotta go wash up. Dad, happy birthday. Please excuse this 15 minutes or so of ball busting. Um, but you are the master of busting chops, so I think it's something we learn from you. However, that is just one thing of so many countless things that we have learned from you. You are a model of so many incredible values and you're really the rock of this family that has seen us through really tragic times and incredibly happy times. We would all be lost without you. I know I would. And I'm so grateful that you're my dad and I love you and happy birthday. Happy 60th birthday to the best father-in-law in this planet. I count my blessings every single day with you, Mark. I cannot believe how lucky I am to be able to call you my father-in-law and for my kids to have you as their grandfather. It's amazing. It's unbelievable. But also, think about how special of an individual you have to be for a video like this to, to happen. You know, it's not only all the effort that all of us wanted to put into this because we love you so much and we wanted you to have the best gift. For a video like this to happen, there needs to be content. And Mark McGuire, you are an infinite source for content of the good one. You're so special. We love you so, so much. And I hope I can spend many more birthdays with you. Okay, so where do I begin? Um, I sat down to think about what do I think of when I think of you, Dad? Um, so many things came to mind. I thought of all the funny mannerisms and dadisms uh, that you've just seen uh, in the, this video. And I laughed and I thought of our time together living as roommates in the towers and I also laughed. Um, you truly have provided us with endless content and I'm sure I provided you with plenty of content when we were living together in 7C. Um, but besides all of those fun and funny things, um, I really reflected on all of 
your other qualities, you know, you're just as redeeming, but maybe more serious qualities. Um, you are just, you are so thoughtful. You are so generous. You are strong and you have been a role model of strength in the most adverse times um, in our lives as a family. You are selfless. Um, in everything you do, you have put others before you. And I can't thank you enough for everything you've done and everything you've given to me as your daughter and everything you've done for our family. Um, we are better people um, having you as our father. So happy 60th. I love you very much. And I hope you enjoy this video. Dad, happy birthday to you. Um, hope you were able to appreciate some of the the laughs and the jokes and the humor, uh, the, you know, kind of the first portion of this video of um, some of the dadisms and I guess terminology and character that we've all, you know, had the fortune of, of witnessing um, throughout, you know, our, our lives together. Um, and just know that it, it truly is a, in good fun and it's an appreciation for your character and what makes you you, right? And you know, on a more serious note uh, on kind of what makes you you and what you mean to us, really, it's difficult for me to express because words really don't do it justice. Um, I just thank God, you know, every single day, every single time I, I think about how fortunate I am to have a father like you. And how fortunate, you know, all the grandkids will be to have a, a grandfather like you, whose just love is endless and ability to just instill values of hard work and family and the importance of family and, um, you know, personal faith and dedication and compassion and it just the the list goes on of what it is that I've learned from you over the years and what it is that I hope to one day you know pass on to my children at some point um I think all of us again are, are very fortunate to have our own unique relationship with you and I just I can't wait to continue to grow and try to become an adult <laughs> and just continue to learn from you. Um, I love you so much. You mean so much to me. I hope this is a special day for you and really just a, an opportunity to appreciate you. Um, we love you so much. Look forward to, you know, going down this journey of life with you by my side. And um, I love you, Dad. Have a happy birthday. Pop, happy birthday. Happy 60th. I, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we had a ton of fun making it. Honestly, just, just getting together as a family, thinking of the, the lighter things in life that you do. That, that we just, we love and enjoy so much and, and we wouldn't change a thing about it. Um, but 60 years, man. Uh, obviously my 34 years in life, you've, you've been just the best. Um, just such a role model for me as, as a father, uh, as a husband, uh, just kind of watch how you led this family and how you've been just such an anchor for us through the best of times, uh, the worst of times and, and everything in between. And honestly, like there's no person on, on this planet that does more for their family and, and puts their family ahead of them more than you do. And, and we love you for that. I love you for that. And, I, and I'm trying to do the same in my life because uh, that's what you taught me. Besides that, you've been just the best of friend to me. And, and honestly, like, I love spending time with my dad and I always have for, for as long as I can remember. And, and I know that'll continue. Um, 
So happy 60th. Um, hope you enjoyed it. I hope we celebrate a ton more and you know, cheers to the next decade, dad. We love you. We love you, grandpa. You're the best in, in the, the world. world.